The bills make me want to give, and every week we're shining a light on the work bills players are doing in our community. I spoke with Bills middle linebacker Tremaine Edmonds about he's helping kids start the school year off right, and his parents' work taking in foster kids. It's Bill's opener week. It's also back to school week. And Tremaine Edmonds a couple weeks ago did a back to school event at the Boys and Girls Club, uh, Maston Boys and Girls Club. Tremaine, what was that event like? Man, it meant everything. Uh, you know, just to get back in the community, man, and just letting everybody know that, you know, I'm behind them. Not just me, but my support system. You know, I had a lot of people from my foundation that came down. Uh, another, you know, charity, you know, um, SOS came down as well, mm -hmm. uh, saving ourselves. And, you know, just it's an event that we just wanted to give back to the kids, whether that was, you know, school supplies, whether that was shoes, socks, clothes, uh, groceries. It was all type of stuff that we did, man. And, you know, just to see the turnout, just to see the kids smile on their face, man, it meant a lot to me, you know, and also to my family, man. You know, I always said you can't fake a reaction. And uh, just seeing everybody laugh, seeing everybody smile, and, you know, just have a good time, man. And, you know, it brought joy to my heart. Seeing the kids getting ready to go back to school, what do you remember about back to school time growing up in Virginia? Man, you know, school, school, school was fun back in the day. You know, obviously that's where you see all your friends at each and every day, man. So, you know, just, you know, getting anxious going back to school, just to, you know, be around the people that you kind of grew up with, uh, you know, it's fun. And, you know, a lot of kids, man, you know, are in different situations. You know, some kids can afford that back to school shopping, that, that back to school school supply type of things. And then there's a lot of kids that, you know, they can't afford it. So it's not as fun to them because, you know, now they got to worry about the image or they got to worry about who's talking about who in school, man. And, you know, that's just the society we're growing up in now. So anytime I had an opportunity to give back, man, so that everybody feels good, everybody feels fresh when they're going back to school, you know, I'm all for it. I know what happened at the tops really impacted this team on a somewhat personal level. Right. And I know a lot of you guys have spent a lot of time in East Buffalo, on the east side of Buffalo, uh, in the in the months since. That event at the Maston Boys Club, when you head down there, do you do you feel it? Do you feel the emotion there in that community? Uh, I think anytime you know a you know a, a tragic event like that happens, you going to always feel the the emotions, you know. Obviously when you drive by, you know you still have the remembrance things out there, you know, the flowers, the pictures, the names and stuff like that. So, you know, any person is just going to feel it, you know, as you as you go through that community, man. But it's all about us sticking beside one another, man. It's about us uplifting one another. And anytime you're in a position to help, help. You know what I mean? I've always been an advocate. I've always been, you know, part of that. I've always been, you know, that's what I stand here for. And, um, you know, that's 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 my character, man. And, you know, I'm going to help 100 percent, 100 percent of the time. You know, that's how my family raised me. That's how my family is. So. Anytime I'm in, I'm in that position to do so, I'm going to do it. Speaking of your family, I know foster families right. also something that's important to you, and that goes back to your parents. Tell me why. Man, I mean, that's just, it, it speaks on the type of parents I have. You know, they they, they, they always in a position that they want to help somebody. You know, my family and myself, man, we just like to see people feel good. You know, that's just, it brings joy to us, man, and, you know, that's what we live for, not just for ourselves, man, but to see other people experience some of the things that we experience under different circumstances. And um, if we could provide that for them, then we all for it. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, we've been doing that since I was a, a child. And um, I mean, it brings a different perspective to my life, you know, just being able to just see, you know, how di how people are different, just see how people were brought up different. And, um, you know, it, it's been nothing but joy. It's been nothing but good times for me, just for me to see it, just for me to experience it, man. And, you know, I take my hats off to my mom and dad because just them, um, doing it, man. It shows the type of people they are. And, um, you know, we don't do it for a pat on our backs. You know what I mean? We do it because we simply want to. You know, that's the type of people we are. And that's the type of people that, you know, they raised me to be. So, you know, it, it, it's definitely been good. Bill's middle linebacker, Tremaine Edmonds, off to L.A. Tremaine, good luck. Thanks for yeah. being with us. Appreciate you. So this is something we'll be doing every week now um, that the Bills are now in season. Big game coming up tomorrow. Next week, Chris talks to Deion Dawkins, and then I'll talk to a few players after that. And, um, we know that Bills Mafia wants to give back to the causes that the yeah. Bills players are into. It's so nice to see Tremaine out there and the other Bills players. I mean, it, and it means so much to the community. It does. Too. You know something? Most of it happens behind the scenes. Most oh, of the work they do is yeah. behind the it's scenes and we never even hear about down. it. Half of it we don't hear about. Yeah. You're right.